venturing deeper into the great crystal in Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age still trailing after Dr. Sid. Last episode, we were in the ancient city of Giravagan. Now we are venturing deeper into the great crystal. Please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for great notifications, and let's get this episode going. So I've changed the characters. Uh, and as before, I've done a little leveling up. They're all level 99. So we are just running around attempting to find everything we need to in the crystal as well as eliminate Dr. Sid. So, so far I've showed you the correct path that we need to travel in the last episode and I hope you can uh, keep following on this one. Um, now that bit of kit was a bit of kit that only appears once on a map. So we only went up there to get that and that's it. We don't really need the other bit. Alright, so we've got a gate here. We can't get through. So it's time to head down. There's no point bringing up the map because you just can't see nothing anyway. Gotcha. These characters are strong. Guy gear, nice. So where do we go? And we'll go down this way. So even though I am pretty high up in the levels, I'm still still hitting soft. So what are these three dudes go? I love my other ones. Alright, so what do we got here? Pisces gates don't touch the device. And that's gate Ares. Ah, see, where we went up to got that first bit of gear. Uh, if we continued up we would have seen a gate stone for that gate there. We're going out this way, back to where we teleport into the zone. Oh, what's that? Oh, nothing. Alright, and the gate now is gone. Uh, that way should take us back to where the... Oh, where is that? Ah, yes, that's that way. That's that gate that we didn't open. So we might as well just come up here and hit our waystone. Touch the device. Touch it, touch it, touch it. Get to it. Just put a little finger on it. much mist. Are you all right? I'm fine. Thank you. Is that Nethersite? I wonder. <laughs> With that much Nethersite in one's grasp. That's why Dr. Sid wants to be you there. You could destroy all of Ivalice if you wished it. No, we don't wish it. We want to save Ivelisse. Alright, as per usual, save Crystal, save your game. <coughs> Definitely gonna have to go through these save files. <laughs> I just created a new one every time nearly. Actually sitting on the kids' chair. <laughs> All right, Waystone One. They've actually been in uh, descending order. Strange. Hello. 
Hello? Ah, uh, oh, this is the first zone. If you look down the bottom corner of the map, of the screen, there's a map, original map that we came in from. The ancient city of Giravagan, we are now back there. Ooh, another big baddie bus. That's an Esper. Shemazai. Shemazai! Esper, get it. Alright, we're doing alright with health. Physical attack. This is the issue that, I, that I'm facing now. I've overpowered and a lot of stuff. I just can't do anymore. Oh, come on, Balthia. There we go, attack it. Just attack. Oh, is he getting health back? Oh, hello. What's going on? Uh, let's try a quickening, shall we? There's a problem. Hopefully we can get a heap of hits on this thing and it just eliminates. We should do pretty good hitting this dude. Oh, time up, come on. Hey, at least we're gonna have additional quickening. Silence. Uh, vanilla, because I need her health. Oh, boy. What is, what have I got? Equip. Element Ice. Oh, no wonder. Because I had an ice elemental weapon which kept on healing him. Alright, item, give me Phoenix down. Hopefully we can just get it now. 
It sucks because Balthier is not hitting hard enough anymore. Items. Ah, oh, she keeps getting done. Boom. Come as I. That's the trick for young players. Don't use elemental weapons on bosses. Unless. Unless the opposite, of course. Did not realize that. That fight could have been over a long time ago. But we got ourselves a new Espa. Yes. You obtain the Espa, Shemzai the Whisperer. Which is why the whisper is silence. Interesting. I don't know what disease does, but it can stay. The Empyrean Waystone. By this path and no other, reach ye the round of the undying, walk of the chosen. Princess of Dalmasca, we Acuria have chosen you, and you alone. The Acuria. Dalmasca, we see your heart desires power, and power most holy shall we grant. Seek you the sun crest, slumbering star. In tower on distant shore, it dreams. New mission? The mother of all Nethesite, the source of its unending power. The Dynast King, his fellow shards, coarse trinkets cut from sun crest's light. Such power exists? <laughs> In times that are long passed away, we sought to save this Ivalice, and chose Wraithwall, the Dynast King. He took the sword, and cut the crest. Three shards he took from its gilt grasp, and so became the Dynast King. His words and deeds run through your veins. We know that bit. That's why I was given it, the Sword of Kings. The treaty held with kings of old is but a memory, cold and still. With you, we now shall treat anew, to cut a run for history's flow. Now take this sword, this treaty blade, a curian seal, mark of your worth. Cool, your new sword. Beat the crest, and seize your shards. Wield Dynast King's power. Destroy Vanar. But Vanar? Vanar's an Acurian, a being like you. Vanar is a heretic! Ah! Uh. 
The Nethersite is ours to give to Chosen Bearer, or to none. The heretic trespassed and set the rose of knowledge in man's hand. With imitations they profane. It is anathema to us. We give you now the stone and task. Administer judgment. Destroy them all. If they're all powerful, judgment. what can they do? It? Destroy them all. The Empire? The hues of a skew, histories weave. With haste, they move through two short lives. Driven to there by base desires. Toward waste and wasting. On they run. Interesting. Undying, we are Curian like the path for wayward sons of man. Oft did we pass judgment on them, so that Ivalice might endure. Eternal, we are history's stewards, to set the course and keep it true. The Chosen is our hand, our fist, to let live some and crush the rest. Princess, you have been chosen. Take revenge against those who stole your kingdom. Fulfill your role as savior. Do it, do it now. Attain to your birthright. <laughs> Damn, it must be a heavy sword. What's with these Akuria? What gives them the right to tell you what to do? Will you take revenge, as they ask? Huh? We could not see them, but we heard the Akuria speak. They may be gods, but we are the arbiters of our destiny. Your Highness, I am against this. The Empire must pay, but destruction... Um... Does anyone know what happened to Dr. Sid? Yeah, Where actually, where is he? Be here? He should have arrived by now. And I should have realized by now. He's not coming. He laid out the bait and we bit. Ah, oh, come on. Remember what he said? He wanted Ash to get the stone. He wanted that all along. That's why he flaunted his nethersite and reeled us in with his stories about Ghetto Vagan, all to bring Ash to the Arcuria. But wait, if we got a hold of the Nethysite, wouldn't that be bad for the Empire? Maybe he wants to see what happens when foes with Nethysite collide. That'd be just like Dr. Sid. But that's your father, mate. I will search out the Sun Christ. History is built by our hands. That's his favorite line. He'd never stand by and watch the Acurious Stones shape things. So, he was talking to Venar all along. He wasn't mad at all then, was he? Nope. But he was driven that way by Venar. We obtained the Treaty Blade. Restore Dalmasca's sovereignty and make our amends with Lady Ash. It's the only way to avert war. It is a war of necessity. Your Lady Ash herself is bent on it. She desires it above all else. She will not rest until her revenge is full wrought. I fear you misread her intent. She would sooner shun war than embrace it. You are young, Larsa. And you presume beyond your ken. Then let us look closer. Judge Gabranth. I would have you seek after the Lady Ash and judge whether she makes overtures of peace or war. Yours shall be the eyes of the Empire. And should I espy war, I am to put her to the sword. 
Is that your wish, Excellency? It will not come to that, I am sure. I have faith in her, faith in you both. On you, Gabranth, shall I wager all our fortunes. Should not. As you will. Judge Gabranth. That so sweet a child could be your brother is hard to believe. Larsa is as he should be. What's that, Vanna? Ah, taken the bait already, have they? Splendid. The Ocuria have given the princess her treaty blade. Interesting. The gods have chosen their scribe to write history as they deem fit. Yes, and she with fresh nethersite to aid her. Bah! To hell with the Ocuria and their stones. What good? A power that cannot be harnessed. Baubles best suited for study, no more. <sighs> we conquered two kingdoms that you might study these baubles. Oh, I am grateful for the sacrifice. Without it, manufactured nephesite would have eluded us. An unrivaled weapon, I warrant you. <sighs> Tell me, Venar, have I not been an apt pupil? War power greed. Everything My as usual. My counsel did but guide your able hand. Through power of man, the stones did you perfect. Yes. So much accomplished in six fleeting years. Man's fervor or all obstacles prevailing. Our lives are much too short. You undying might waste long centuries away, but we, I fear, cannot. Just so. Had we more time, we might have availed ourselves of more prudent measures. Your greatest work still lies before you. Could have done it without Not war. Lightly will the Acuria allow you to wrest the reins of history from their grasp back into the hands of men. Indeed. What claim does Garen have on history's reins? Seated on throne immortal, rent from time. For your ascendance, vain, I offer prayer. May you attain all that which is your due. Attain it I shall. Not if we have anything to do with it. For too long have my deeds gone unrewarded. In tower on distant shore dreams the sun, Christ. Do these words mean aught to you? Didn't Rather say he was going to follow some other course? Maybe he found out something that can help. Ah, okay. I'd rather stay out of that Sky Pirate's debt, thank you. <laughs> What's wrong with Redis? I mean, if you can't trust your own kind, who can you trust? You're an expert on pirating now, are you? Maybe just a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. Alright. Um, so, unfortunately, that's all I've got time for this episode. Uh, I think. And yes, uh, we are going to head back to. Where was it? Balfour Port. So, we're going to run, go back there, and go speak to Redis to see what our next course of action will be. Uh, again, thank you for joining me on this episode. I do hope you enjoyed it. Um, we managed to find out where and what Dr. Sid's plan is. So smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for great notifications, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. Cheers.